All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Palm Springs, California, the Ghost. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. acumen he's more than willing to engage him on the ground a lot of times guys fight with their ego they try to go and fight their opponent in their spot let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision all right closes the distance gets the single collar tie oh man this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at mma you cannot take too many of those head kicks but this guy gets his leg up there so fast sometimes you don't see it coming all right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Got the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Nice 
nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Let's go. Right on. Push, push, push. Big fall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, collar tie. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, affected <laughs> knees. I love when you talk about that. I, know I think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, nice elbow. What a fight we got going on here. Elbow, lead elbow, yes. Oh! Punch over the top. Nice hook lands. Oh, straight right. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. It's the elbow there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Set that up. Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Great posture control by his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? 30 seconds now to go in round one. Right on the button. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Counter punch is good by Chor. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Horn sound for the end of round one. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, DC, second round is getting Where's underway. Right? Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, right. but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big kick land. Block the strike there. Counter on the hook is good. Nice job by Short. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave 
where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's third. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice one-two there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice loop and punch. Well, he's got a reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Clinch position, the underhook is going to be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch with the clinch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Single collar tie now. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Nice straight punch. Ooh. Left hook, right hand. Big elbow there. Knee to the body. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and. Really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and fired up a video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Nice punch there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Immediately gets the underhook. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he caught the kick. Got the single follow tie. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
Rap wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Beautiful punch. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, collar tie. He loaded up on that right hand, too. It's such a fast leg kick. Let's go. Nice. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just over three minutes to go. And lands the left there. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Back and forth we go. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting the plan exactly where you want. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Give me that inside kick to the leg now. Great punch landed with so much power. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Just misses with that one. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. That one's not good. Nice strike. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee heard Gage on the stop of this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the third round.
declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.